everybody and welcome back to Margot's Halls and All. So finally, the long-awaited living room makeover is here. And there are some parts, this video, I'm talking about a collage. I did not complete this collage. I believe that's the last piece I have for this living room. But if you follow me on TikTok and Instagram, Margot's Halls and All, you will be seeing that in the near future. So I hope you enjoy and let's get on to the video. Okay, so here's the living room. Here's the colors that it was. I haven't even washed these walls. We had a huge decal here. It was a tree, a huge tree with all our family pictures. Here are our bookshelves. Those obviously will be emptied and painted. And these doors on the bottom, we're gonna change the, not change them, but paint the handles on them. There was a mantle on this wall above, above the um, fireplace and my husband took it down and sanded it and now we have a big open wall so we can have a bigger television. Oh, there's one of the cat's toys in the fireplace. Here's the other shelving, same thing. We're gonna take those knobs and everything off and paint them. This room has not been painted in, this is sad, but over 10 years. That's where the cats play all the time, our two big open windows. This is the front door, and that will be coming down. Not the door, the, <laughs> the uh, coat hanger. Alrighty. And then we have this side window over here. And then we have, here's our paint. Here is the paint we're gonna be using. And we will also be painting all these, the front of the stairs, these walls up here. This is like a hallway that goes up to the upstairs. There's another wall. All right, now to start the beauty work. All right, guys, so this is going to be day one of painting the living room. Today what we're focusing on is the ceiling and all that's in the green. And then tomorrow we will do all of this wood stuff. <clears throat> we took the shelves off, not the shelves, I'm sorry, the doors off. And my husband spray painted the uh, handles and hinges all in silver. Yeah, I'm hoping someday that we will get a bigger TV. I'm so glad that mantle's gone and it really wasn't an issue. This is the color that we want for all that's in the white, everything that we're painting tomorrow. And here's some more built-in bookshelves. And then this whole wall back here is going to be, here's the colors we picked. So the walls are gonna be like the gray and the white is all gonna be in that darker blue. This wall right here, I really have plans for. I just hope everything comes out okay. Believe it or not, we washed this wall. But we had that decal, the I think I told you guys with the tree on there. And then over here, we have a linen closet. A little bit of wall. And then here is the door to the basement. And then this wall right here are the, it's for the stairs going up. We have another window over here. This is all wall here. And we have a window down here at the bottom of the stairs. And then, like I said, all the white is gonna be that darker blue. 
and these walls up here, of course, are going to be the gray. And up here is where my son's bedroom is and studio. But over here on this wall, I've already started it. I'm making a collage with those, um, what were they? Those books with all those cool pictures in them. The woodland ones and the ocean ones. And All right, guys, so we're going to paint. Okay, here's Mr. Halls and all trimming around the ceiling. I'm not the best book. And no, he's really not that tall, you guys. <laughs> I'm cheating. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. We're working on the ceiling right now. And Mr. Halls and all is taping me. Do the rolling of the ceiling and he actually was doing the edge. But what a difference it's making already, just this one coat on the ceiling, so can't wait till it's done. Well, we're not too worried about hitting the edges of the walls at all because we're going to be doing a different color anyway, so. Okay, so the ceiling is all painted and now we are working on the walls. This time I'm doing the edging and Doug is doing the roller. He's way ahead of me. <laughs> well, this is how far I've gotten, and let's go see what he has done. So look at the big difference, the gray and the green. I think it's going to make the room look a little bit bigger, which is good. Although the white is now going to be a darker blue, but that's okay. All right, and here is the stairway going up. And I'm going to show you the ceiling because I wasn't sure how well that would work because it goes up. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's like a slide. <laughs> but we got it. We got it. All right, guys. On to the next segment. Okay, so now the walls are completed. So now it's the ceiling and the walls there's a mark right here thank you husband okay so these are done and then tomorrow well it won't be tomorrow for you guys but we'll be doing all of this we have to actually wipe this down and paint that all but here's the other wall <clears throat> And then we're going to look up the stairs and look at the walls. Yay! Yay! Big difference on the green. And once that blue is on there, wow, what a difference. Oh my, look at Doug, you hit the... Yeah, I know those things. Okay, so he's going to be fixing that. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, today we are working on the trim and Mr. Halls and Alls will be sanding this banister. Then we will be painting. Now we are working on the blue. Apparently, you know, we're not done, of course, but this is where we are so far with the blue. So exciting. Okay, here's some more of the blue. Obviously, we are not done, but we are getting there. All right, we're getting somewhere. Okay, so we do have some progress with the blue that's yep a lot of wet paint and there's mr halls and all <laughs> yeah we still got a little ways to go but that's okay we have this window to paint completely in that baseboard 
There is the front door. Here is the stairs. Well, the outside wall of the stairs going up. That still needs to be completed. The door for the basement. And I'm going to show you the stairs. I like the front of them. I mean, they're not done yet, but I don't care. <laughs> I still love the color. So. <laughs> yeah, my husband thinks he's funny. He thinks this is for the cowboys. <laughs> All right, so we do have more progress. Loving it. Alright, the curtains are going up. This is over the double windows. I'll show you guys the other curtains momentarily. Those are shears. Okay, they're still curtains. Alright, and now I will take you over to this window. Alright, so that's that one. And then the same thing up on top, over there. All right, the light switch and the um, electrical covers are all silver. We painted them. There's another one over here. And then walk over here. Here is another one. Oh, that's pretty shiny. It's hard yeah, to tell, but it's silver. Yeah. Okay, so now hubby is going to put the hardware on the doors that go on the bottom of the bookshelf. They were black. He spray painted them um, silver. All right, guys, so I'm starting to decorate a little bit in the living room. I have one picture up here, and I'm going to put this one right here i did put command strips behind here and these are 11 by 14 dollar tree frames and this is part of the the new wallpaper stuff that they have so i just framed it all right guys so now i'm decorating one of the shelves and honestly i'm not sure if it's even going to stay like this but the two top i did i have an idea what to put here I just don't have it yet, but um, yeah, so I'm working on it. You guys will definitely see the end result, but uh, this is it so far. All right, guys, so this is what the shelving looks like for now, because <laughs> I know I'm going to be sitting in the living room and looking at it and thinking, all right, maybe I should have done this. All right, guys, and now this is the other side. That ladybug right there originally was gold, then spray painted black, and then spray painted silver. I love, love, love the silver hardware on the doors. 
Okay, so now I, well, actually, I, my husband, is spray painting these for me. But I did get these hoops at Dollar Tree. They look like the embroidery hoops. They're wooden. It was two sizes. I think I have five of each total. But um, Hubby's spray painting them. And then I'm going to be arranging them on the wall. And we'll see how that turns out. So I have the five big rings um, glued together and I'm taking this um, silver paint and I'm just brushing it on like a little bit just for, um, I don't know, to make it look like the brush look. And then I have these three rings that are glued together now that are going to go on top of here like that. And then these two here will go on top of here. So once these are all dried, I will put them all together and they're going up on the wall. All right, guys, so this is the final product. And you guys did see I did all the accent stuff in silver. And this picture over here, my niece painted with makeup and makeup brushes. I challenged her. She is so talented. Okay, here's the linen closet door. And then this wall right here. This is all Dollar Tree stuff. Uh, you guys probably recognize it. But these were all, they look like wooden embroideries, but I just spray painted them and glued them together. That's from Dollar Tree. That's from Dollar Tree. So this wall right here, this is the one my couch will be up against. And then here's the smaller of the two bookshelves. And again, if you are a Dollar Tree shopper, you're gonna recognize quite a bit of this stuff. And I just love, love, love the way these shelves came out. And the bottom part, those were black and we spray painted them silver. These decals here, you saw in part of my video already. Just putting these on, they're from Dollar Tree as well. All right, so this is where the fireplace obviously is. And we no longer have the mantle. We will eventually get a bigger TV. Hey, I recognize her. All right, and here's the other shelf. Again, you guys will recognize a lot of this stuff from Dollar Tree. This right here, these two actually, spray paint, <laughs> but that whole shelf, all that stuff's from Dollar Tree. This right here, this sign is from Aldi's. All this other stuff is Dollar Tree. And then these, I love these. These are with the water beads. And then um, the, like the marbles, blue marbles from Dollar Tree. And the doors. And then this wall right here. Again, from Dollar Tree. Gotta love Dollar Tree. So that's um, decorating on a budget, which, hey, I like it. Okay, and this tree right here, I love, love, love this tree. I'm waiting on the end plug to come in. And as soon as I get it, I'll do a short on it. But it's all silver, and I paid $10 for that tree at Target after Christmas when it was 90% off. This is, I just love this piece right here. This is a tree that was given to me when my oldest son um, passed away, and it'll be 14 years in September. But as this tree grew, we have pictures of DJ, first year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, six years, and then seven and eight. That's my prom. And yeah, this was his prom picture. But this tree means so much to me. The girls at work had gotten me this tree. It's my favorite tree. It's a Japanese maple. My cousin had this made for me. And like I said, every Memorial Day, 
weekend, we would take a picture of the tree with DJ in front of it. So the only thing I have left to do is in the stairwells, I'm doing a collage. And as soon as that's done, I will put that out on a short. But that's our living room. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I did myself. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And until next time, love you, bye.